My 14-year-old daughter is the last of my kids to get a bedroom makeover. I had her pin rooms she likes so I could design around that. She likes kind of a magic cottage or a vintage historic with a touch of glam. I decided to start by building a desk since she is doing all virtual school right now. I used an old Ikea dresser and had her help me take it apart. Oakley helped too. I cut a long piece to use as the top and then spray painted new hardware gold for that glam touch. I also spray painted the drawer fronts and top white and I cut pieces to create a leg for the other side of the desk and also painted that gold. We have a lot more projects coming up so stay tuned this week. I've wanted to make over my bedroom for a while now because it's ugly and it's green and it's cramped. And when I found termites in my window, I was just like, this is it. I'm gonna fix everything now. So my inspiration is like modern, Pinterest-y, like gray, white, that kind of stuff. The first thing I did was clear everything out of my room. And then I got rid of the boob light. My gosh, I got recessed lighting installed. And then I started painting. This is Benjamin Moore's White Dove, a beautiful warm white color. I've never painted anything like in my life before. This is my first time. I think it's obvious. But after many hours, I was finally able to finish painting my entire room. And the next thing I want to do is put built-ins into this alcove. I'm just not sure if I want them to be white with the wall or like wood stained. What do you think I should do? I Day one of decorating my bedroom. My new mattress and bedding are on. I moved my bed to the middle of my room. Here's the furniture that I have ordered. Comment any decor ideas that you have. Part two of decorating my guest bedroom and I know y'all saw me hit that moonwalk. 
So I decided to keep my bed at number four on the wall just because it seemed like I had the most space and it made sense because I kind of want to put the TV in the closet and I won't use it as a closet. And the stuff that I have for this room is going to fit perfectly in these spots. First, these Crocs going in vanish mode, not even sport mode. Goodbye. So my side tables came in and I was so excited to build them. I didn't even know when they were coming in. They just showed up at the door. So there's this designer named Gustav Westman and he makes tables like these, but they're like $800 to $1,000. And I found the dupes. I found the Amazon dupes and look, they look so good. These were literally only $200 and $200 versus $1,000 immediate add to cart. They had different colors, but I wasn't sure what color I wanted. So I just got white because I will paint them. So if y'all have any ideas of what color I should paint, let me know in the comments. Next, the mattress. Okay, I got this mattress off of Amazon. It had like 130,000 reviews and all good stars. So I was like, okay, I'm buying this mattress. Honestly, I don't know if it's good, but I mean, the reviews said otherwise. So it better be nice. I'll let you know in a few if I think it's worth it. Is anybody else like this? There's literal help in the next room, but I refuse to ask for help. I'm like, uh-uh, this is why I work out. I should be able to do this myself. <laughs> and if you wanted to know, yes, the bed is comfy. Now, I was so excited for this because I found a curtain track that had adhesive, so you could just stick it to the wall rather than screwing it in. I screwed one into the ceiling in another room and it was so hard to put up. That's why I was excited for this sticky one. It looked so nice and then I woke up the next morning and yeah, can you guess? It was, it fell. It didn't stay, so I had to clean all that up and, you know, throw that one away. Luckily, I already had an extra one, so I built it, and it's the same thing. You just attach all the rods together, and then I actually took off the hooks on the sliders because I didn't need them. I got pleated curtains with the little hook in the back, so I didn't need it. You just slide all of these inside, and then you cap it off with this end cap, and then you're good to go. So the inside has all these little holes across it, so that's where you screw into the ceiling. You just need a drill and some nails. It comes with nails, but I like using these that are longer because it's just so much easier when you're putting it up. The nails that it comes with, I'm kind of struggling to get it in there, but these long nails make it so much easier, and boom! I was excited because I know this one's going to stay up, and it's not coming down, okay? Now I'm just putting up the curtains, which is actually better because they were wrinkly before and I put them in the dryer before this and now they are nice and smooth. But y'all, a curtain track is so much better than a curtain rod. Y'all see how sleek this looks? So if you have a curtain rod, throw it away and get a curtain track. I spent five days turning my toddler's plain white bedroom into a yellow duck wonderland. I was so excited to be creating her dream bedroom. It was so yellow, but I knew how much she would love it. I ordered so much. I built her big girl bed and shelves for her ducks. I had to make my own duck cushions by hand. I had no idea what I was doing, but they turned out so cute. I bought so many ducks to create her dream duck display. Adding all of the finishing touches and seeing it all come together was so emotional as I knew how happy she would be especially about all of these decks. I couldn't wait to show her. Are you ready to see your surprise? Yeah. Where is your surprise? Forty-two million of you guys watched me surprise my 15-year-old with a bedroom makeover, and one of the biggest questions was, what about her little sis? So, let's surprise my youngest with her very own big girl room. Gigi will be nine in January, but I couldn't wait any longer to redo her room. She's currently in the upstairs loft because her bedroom originally was really small, so she switched with her dad's office, which means she didn't have a closet or a door, so we have a lot of work cut out for us. I already went ahead and created some closet space using the IKEA pack system and the LAC bookcase. More on that later if you're interested. Gigi's been desperate for more big girl space, and I'm so excited to do this for her. And this time my husband's home to help, which means I get to tell him what he's doing wrong, which is always nice. For her doorway, I went with a more temporary solution with the velvet curtains. I think they turned out so cute. Gigi's out right now, but she's going to be home pretty soon, so we're really racing against the clock. Her two teenage sisters were very sweet to take her out for the day, and all we had to do is ask kiss a little bit and give them $50 each. My main goal for this makeover is just to make her room feel a little bit more functional and to maybe stop sneaking into her parents' room in the middle of the night. I know I didn't have my own room until I was like 14 years old, so this girl's got it made and she doesn't even know it, but she's the easiest to shop for, so this was so much fun. And this is the part where I hung the Ikea photo ledge and it came crashing down. Glass everywhere. Photo collage it is. Finishing touches. Everything is so cute. 
and we just got a text from her big sister. They are heading home right now. I'm literally freaking out, so excited. I hope she loves everything just as much as I do. And here's how everything looks from the staircase. Literally so much better. I cannot wait to see her reaction when she gets home. What do you guys think? Slow down, grab the wall, wiggle like you're trying to make your ass fall off. Hell, I think I want to smash them all now. Speed up. Gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal. And you already know me, S A G E. Gas pedal, gas pedal. Baby, now I got the flow. I'm about to pull up. His sweet spot comes. So if you've been following along, you know that we're redoing my little brother's room. And we finished, so here's the reveal. We start with his door. It has his name and then Pikachu from his birthday last year. He has some awards and medals that he's won, his guitar, and then his desk setup. Our mother is a teacher, so we do schoolwork and learning stuff all year round, which has always been great. It helps keep us ahead. There's his bookshelf he likes to read, and then his entire computer setup with the lights underneath his bed. Then we have a Minecraft mural, also with Unspeakable and Preston, right above his couch, and a Lego table in the corner with the Minecraft walls. We have the Smash mural I've been posting about. It took me forever to do, and I'm super proud of it. Lastly, we have his TV over some game boxes, and it is built to look like a Nintendo Switch. And those are functional cabinets. Hope you enjoy! If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around.